Hello everyone, so in my last scripting video, I went over how to add different items here in this file. So if you haven't seen that already, uh, you should watch that one, because today I'm going to be going over some new stuff. I'm going to be going over how to give yourself a highly customized item and how to also filter out certain words in a chat. So, uh... Let's get right into that. First, let's create a new file. Uh, we're gonna call this. Uh, we're gonna call this. Uh, let's call this items. Call it item filter. So that is a pretty good name. So the first thing you're going to want to do if you want to give yourself a custom item using script is you'll probably want to set up a command to do it or some sort of event. This could be on first uh, join. And how first on first join works is the first time the player joins the game, meaning after they join a second time, this event will no longer happen. In this case, we're going to do a command because honestly, um, I've already joined the server and I can't like rejoin it or anything or reset my first join unless I reset the server, which I do not want to do. So we're going to do command give item. We're also going to add in a new type of uh, identifier to commands, which I did not go over the last video, but it is permission. This can be whatever you want. It can be op, it can be um, admin.item, but in this case we're going to do star, meaning that unless you have all permissions, uh, you will not be able to run this command. So now our trigger, which is always important, if you do not have this in your commands, it will not work whatsoever to uh, do whatever the command does. It'll just give you an error. So now let's give uh, ourselves an item. You're going to set up a variable real quick, which I did in the last file. Well, in the last tutorial, of course. So give player one of diamond. Now here's where you can get uh, highly customizable with this. So um, you can go to here for a gradient, and this looks ridiculously long, I know. And I know there's better ways to do gradients, um, but a lot of them, a lot of those methods use uh, other plugins, which I do not have currently on the server, so we are just going to do this. Name. Link. And because that looks so terrible, I'm just going to set that to a variable. On load, set to. And honestly, if you do decide to use the same method as I do for grading item names, you always want to use variables. Because if you ever refer back to it, like, uh, which is helpful for very, very, very custom items. Um, you will want to store it in a variable, otherwise this will clutter up your script a crazy amount. Okay, with lore, this is a cool item. And you can use lore codes however you want. Uh, of, let's do sharpness 20. And yeah, the max is not like 5, like in vanilla you can make it whatever you want. Uh, with all flags hidden. And I'm not even sure that's going to work. I'm just going to test that out. And there we go. So now let's go in game and reset this and see if this works. Script reload item filter dot sk. Yeah, I figured. It returned the error because you cannot do with all flags hidden without a certain plugin. So I'm going to go back real quickly and remove that identifier for the item. There we go. Okay. Oh, I know what the issue is. Uh, there we go. I'm going to show you guys what I did now. So if you ever add an enchantment to an item, it goes here at the beginning. Because you're giving the player an item of a certain enchantment with the name and the lore and all flags hidden. Meaning the uh, that could still work, but we'll have to see how that works. 
Okay, yeah, that didn't work. So we're just gonna go back and remove that again. Done. Here we go. All done. Now, give item. And here is our diamond. As you can see, it looks pretty funny. <laughs> it's a diamond with sharpness 20. And it also looks kind of cool, too. Which is why it says that in the lore. And that is how you give yourself a custom item. Now for a filter. This is going to be a little bit complicated. I want you guys to bear with me. So, um, first thing we want to do is let's go and set... Uh, we'll, we'll first have to use the list value. This is very important for filtering and stuff like that in a chat. Or potentially for like a secret code or something. You say a secret code word and then it opens something somehow. Uh, this is what you would definitely want to use the list variable for. So yeah, we're not going to do on load. We're going to do command load filter trigger add. And we're not going to add actual swears because, I mean, there's a lot. That'd be too extensive. I'm just going to add like silly words like uh, swearing to... Uh, we'll call it blocked. So let's go and clear then add uh, reaper. Why not? Doesn't have to make any sense. Just random words. Just say my username that gets blocked. Um. There. Uh. Please sub. There we go. I mean that'd also be funny. Let's make this not case sensitive. Uh. Actually, let's get rid of that. I want to do uh, let's do YouTube. That would be funny. www any website blocked. Okay, there we go. Now that we've got all of that figured out, what we're going to do is we're going to introduce a new type of event that I did not uh, go over in the previous video. This, however, I did kind of go over that in the last video, so this should be pretty familiar. So on chat. If, uh, chat message, I think it's, if message contains test cancel event. We're just going to see if that does anything. Okay, yeah, I think that should work. Let me go and show you guys. So if we say test, absolutely nothing happens because it's, it's blocked. You can't say test anymore. I've blocked the word test. So... Yeah, if we say something else like, hi, hello, it works perfectly fine because it's not blocked, unlike the other stuff. So let's go back and finish setting up the code. So instead of if message contains that, can, um, contains, uh, gotta think about this for a second, message contains blocks, I think. Any element of blocks. I don't think that'll work, but let me just test that out real quick. Case. I think I just do that. I think. Yep, that's how I do that. Okay, and then we're also going to do something else real quick here. Let me just, uh, I'm going to go back to the previous file that I showed in the last video, and we're just going to take this. And because it's like the same thing, we'll put them together like that. Like so. Just to make this look a little bit nicer. Yay. You claimed your diamond. And you can make this like a one-time command too, if you really wanted. To player here. Error. Your message contain a blocked word and thus was not sent. You can make that to whatever you want. Perfect. So 
So, do one more thing here. I did not do in the last video. Successfully loaded all locked words. Perfect. Now we can go back into the game and test this out. Hold on, no errors. That's what I like to see. Okay. Uh, so the first command we're going to test, kind of test, because I already did this earlier, but yay, you claimed your diamond. Amazing. Okay, now let's load our filter. Oh, right. I didn't. Okay. I used a temporary variable. It's actually called a local variable now, I figure out. So there we go. Now that shows up. So I changed that to player instead of the underscore p, since that was only for that one command, but... Alright, so now if we say Q2, okay, wait. Okay, there must be a small issue, so let me go and uh, review this. I think I have to do this. Okay, yep. I need to do one more thing. Okay, let me show you what I did. So I did a little oopsie. I should have figured this out sooner, but you can't check if the message contains blocked because that would just, it just wouldn't work like that. You have to check if the block contains the message. And now um, that it does, this should work perfectly fine. And also I changed this because this was not set here, meaning it didn't work. And also, <laughs> This wasn't here either. Uh, this isn't in this section here either, which I tried, so it didn't send me a, a message uh, when I set a block word. So now we can go and try this again, and it should work fine. So one of the things is swearing. And yeah, I think it, there's like a small issue uh, with, the, with how messages get sent. So I'm going to see if I can't fix this. Cancel event right after that. Yeah. Yeah, that was probably the issue. Okay. Yeah, I think what I forgot to do here is I forgot to put that after. Because if you cancel event and then try and send a message, it cancels anything, basically, I think. So, try this again. Swearing. <laughs> and YouTube is another. And this would be like for anything. It could be like any website. Oh wait, never mind. Oh, because it doesn't have a space. So yeah, I suppose you could like block www dot, like if somebody is trying to promote their website, and then you could just be blocked like that. Also, this is not. Uh, none of these are uh, perfectly case sensitive, so you could still get around it like that. Oh wait, never mind. It is case sensitive. Okay. I guess it just checks the text, not necessarily if it's capitalized, which is kind of cool. So yeah, this, th I suppose that could be pretty effective, but there could be like a billion ways people could get around it like that, or like that. So, so you'd have to consider that kind of stuff if you make a, a chat filter like that. Because there are going to be people who are going to try and uh, wiggle their way around to trying to figure out how to get around it. I mean, but in that case, you should just get moderator. If you have people swearing in the chat all the time and saying inappropriate stuff, just, just hire a moderator and then you can, like, uh, have a punishment system and potentially punish them if they break the rules. Which is probably what I'm going to make in my next video. I'm going to show you guys how to make a pretty complicated GUI. Actually, it might not, not be super complicated. It might be pretty basic. And then after that video, if you guys want, I'll make a more detailed step-by-step -step on how to make something a lot more complicated and a bit cooler. But yeah, that's about everything I have for this video. So if you have any questions on... Uh, on giving yourself a diamond that has sharpness 20 with
cool gradients and all of that, just let me know down in the comments and I will answer any or all questions you have. So yeah, thank you all for watching and bye!